Mexican brother, fought in Vietnam, came back, caught up in drugs, or caught up in struggle, decided to put his life under the cause of the change. And he, along with Bo Taylor and others, were in the midst of creating a peace treaty to stop the bloodshed that was flowing in the streets of Los Angeles and in Northern California. And in reaching out to Nane, he introduced me into a community of activists that reminded me of my youth. And here was Nani Alejandras, willing to put down the gun, willing to reach across the divide. And it was then that uh, the idea for the gathering was born. In that group that he had put together, there was a young woman by the name of Carmen Perez. Her strength and her work as an organizer told me that she would be the perfect candidate to come to New York and work with me. And uh, good fortune began to come our way. 1199 offered us space. I'd been with 1199 for almost 50 years that unions struggled. And George Gresham said, uh, come on in, Mr. B. We have space. Uh, you can house with us as long as it's necessary. So Carmen came, and she discovered Jules of the bird. And between the two of them, they began to organize around the city. They began to organize up at Sing Sing, where we went with great regularity. And still do to speak to the inmates and to speak to the prison attendees, a lot of the guards who have to look out for the well being the inmates. And we begin to do work that she does dealing with the smackling the criminal injustice system that we are all too familiar with. I can ramble here forever. <laughs> Let me just say that I am deeply touched by the work Carmen and Jules has done. Uh, this is all about them taking the time out to put this together. When they first asked me about honoring, we had a little moment. But I'm deeply, deeply <laughs> sensitive to what happens when people with celebrity profile begin to believe the anointing and begin to believe that uh, somehow they are special and that we get these gifts of human kindness because we deserve them. That's not quite the case. I always felt that uh, the reward was in the doing, not in any prizes that were to be given. And it was the love that I feel every day when I walked to 1199, knowing that we're all doing the same work, trying to make the world in which we live a better place. I'm eternally grateful to Rose and to Dr. Du Bois and to yeah. Eleanor Roosevelt. Yeah. Yeah. And perhaps young men like Martin Luther King Jr., who's yeah. two years younger than I. Oh. Wow. But he first called and asked me to become a part of the cause. Uh, I looked at this young man and marveled at his spirit. Marvel at his courage. They took him away, but not before he had filled the space with so many who had been touched by his incredible imagination and his strength. All these things have been part of my experience, and I don't really need. Trinkets or prizes. 
every day and running into the people who do the work, who walk the walk, who talk the talk, who make the difference is more than enough reward for doing something that gives me such a great sense of well-being. I want to thank you again, Carmen, and to thank each and every one of you who are here tonight. Most of you are activists giving to our cause, the gathering, and in turn, the gathering has turned around and organized and attracted many activist groups all over the eastern coast, throughout west now and midwest as well. And these young people that have come together to do this work is all the reward I need. <laughs>